Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> girls and guys, especially girls, Mark St. John, our God. lead guitar player. Hey, hey, there he is. Hi, Australia. In this episode of My Kiss Collection, Kiss Animalize. So, Mark, um, when you were asked to join the group, I mean, what were your first thoughts? I asked this to Eric about what, uh -huh. three years ago, four, four years ago. Please I was ask. very flattered. I was yeah. really more than happy to come to New York and settle in here with the guys and start a new career. Right. Dishwashing. Now, there was an <laughs> there was an initiation. I hate to he think what it was. He didn't tell you about it. <laughs> That's, why right. That's why he's smiling like this. Look at that big stuff. First up is an original first pressing released in 1984. This is the first and only LP with new lead guitarist Mark St. John. The LP ships with a lyric inner sleeve and a gloss finish with pictures of the band on the other side. It ships with a standard black label with silver print and the Mercury Fire logo. I also added this Collector Gate Fold promo jacket. These were often used as sales display for the record stores of that time. They're pretty rare, so I decided to add it to the collection, just for a little fun. It has the standard Mercury barcode on the back and the Mercury branding and credits at the bottom. Okay, in second place, a beautiful 2014 reissue from the Back to Black series, 180 gram weight vinyl out of the UK. The Back to Black series of LPs are really nice, high-quality packages, but they don't sound as good as the originals. I'm not sure why this is, but most folks would never tell the difference, and it should be in everyone's collection. It ships with the hype label, which you should always keep for your collections. They actually add value to some buyers looking for an authentic piece. Inside, you will find the download coupon, which I never used. It came with a beautiful inner sleeve and paperboard matte finish, with a lyric sheet and pictures of the band on the other side. My issue with the 180 gram weight vinyl is no matter how new the LP is, the record always seems to cut through the paper liners. This should be shipped in a poly sleeve. That's what the Japanese do. It ships with the Mercury flat black label with the UME branding and the 2014 catalog number with the Mercury Fire logo. It has the barcode on the lower corner with the UME Mercury branding and kissonline.com information. With this album and joining KISS, I mean, do you come up with your own ideas that, um... Yeah, most of the time. Yeah? A group contribution to most of it. Because going back to sort of like when a group becomes so established, they have their own set ideas in production, Paul. Yeah. Mark, is, Mark is real humble. He's just going to sit here and tell you that he's a nice guy and it just happens naturally. The, the great thing about Mark is he usually puts his fingers on the guitar and that does the talking for him. Right. Uh. Next up, a rare import. You know I gotta have an import. This is an original first pressing from 1984 from the Latin label Polydiscos. It's super rare at this point. I had to have it. It's in great condition and it looks like it had never been played. It shipped in a poly half moon sleeve and no lyric sheet liner. It has the poly discos branding and catalog numbers on the back. The cover is a little flimsy, so I'll add a stiffener to this package just to keep it tight. The thing I really love about this LP is that it ships with the classic Filmworks label, written in Spanish and English, and a matte finish with the poly discos branding. I also had another gatefold promo display just to add a little more value to the package when it comes time to sell my collection. Last but not least, another first pressing from the Pittman record plant. This kit is in mint condition. Everything about this copy is perfect, and it should fetch a good price when I sell this collection 20 years from now. It came with the glossy inner sleeve with pictures of the band, and the new guy, Mark St. John. It also has the lyric sheet on the back side. What's super cool is it's still in the original plastic, with the hype labels and the 1984 store price. Super cool. The rear cover has the barcode with the Mercury branding and catalog numbers. It ships with the matte black Mercury logo with silver print and the fire logo. And there it is, Kiss Animal Eyes. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for Asylum and Crazy Nights.